Apple has launched its first new products of 2022, including new iPhone SEs and iPad Airs with 5G and faster chips, green iPhone 13s, the Mac Studio, a new monitor, and of course, the M1 Ultra processor. I think the new SE doesn't really move the needle much because at this point, I still believe 5G is still a marketing tactic and the other SE upgrades are not that significant. The new Air is nearly identical to the 11 inch iPad Pro. So if you're in the market for a 10 to 11 inch tablet, I'd probably go with the Air instead of the Pro and save that extra $200 of cash. I really do like the new Alpine Green iPhone 13 Pro color, and I do hope it sticks around for the iPhone 14 this fall. And the Mac Studio really shows us how much Intel was holding Apple back in the Mac chip department. While the new display's $1,600 price point is fairly reasonable within the Apple ecosystem, it's not the world's best deal when you realize that an iMac with a full M1 inside is $100 less. Looking ahead, Apple's new M1 Ultra chip sets the stage for a slew of M2 Macs. That would include an M2 MacBook Air, Mac Mini, 13-inch MacBook Pro, and 24-inch iMac, along with an M2-based Mac Pro with as many as 48 CPU cores. Apple's also working on a new high-end Pro XDR display to attach to that Mac Pro. In the next year, we should also get new high-end MacBook Pros and iMac Pros with M2 Pro and M2 Max chips, along with, eventually, a new Mac Studio with an M2 Ultra. Apple's new chips are clearly outpacing rivals, and they're at the very core of both Apple's present and future, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing how the chip roadmap continues to take shape in the coming years. I'm Mark Gurman. This is Power On.